morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday, November 12th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, our Lombardi Pledge. Today, I promise to take care of myself, take care of others, and take care of my environment. I am a Lombardi tiger. Hear me roar. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. All right, our joke today is from Tyler Stickles. And what is a top that you can't wear? What is a top you can't wear? The answer... <laughs> It's a laptop. Great one, Tyler. Woo! All right. Smarter than Mr. McDermott, I bet you are. What mythical creature is said to breathe fires and often guard... Oh, I spelled treasure wrong. It should have an E on the end. What mythical feature breathes fire and guards treasures? It is a dragon. You are correct. You are smarter than me. All right. Mindful breathing, what we're going to do is we're going to close our eyes, sit up straight, and we're going to breathe in through our nose, silently count to four. And then as you breathe out, you're going to continue counting until you get to eight. All right, here we go. All right, nice job, everybody. Now we're going to learn a little bit about Ruby Bridges uh, because Ruby has uh, had an extremely difficult uh, transition to, into her schooling. Um, I'm just going to let it play because it explains much better than I can. After the U.S. Supreme Court said no more to segregation in schools, today we want to share facts about a girl named Ruby Bridges who was the first African-American to desegregate an all-white elementary school. Starting off, Ruby Neal Bridges was born September 8th in 1954. As a little girl, Ruby was raised on a farm. That is where her parents and her grandparents were sharecroppers. At the age of four, things changed for Ruby. With this next fact in 1958, Ruby's parents moved to New Orleans, Louisiana, dreaming of a better life. That is where Ruby would be on her way to becoming an African-American hero. Because in 1954, the same year that Ruby was born, the United States Supreme Court ruled separating schools based on race was not allowed. Sadly, there were some who did not want black and white children to go to school together. That is where they created testing for black children that was required before attending school with white children. Now, even though these tests were meant to keep black children out, Ruby passed the test, allowing her to attend an all-white elementary school. This led to anger and racism on full display. On Ruby's first day, there was an angry mob yelling and throwing objects to try and scare Ruby away. That is where knowing it would be trouble, Ruby and her mother were escorted by federal marshals to school, where she spent her entire first day in the principal's office. When Ruby was able to attend class, only one teacher was willing to teach her. Barbara Henry taught Ruby in a class by herself because parents took their children out of the school, not wanting them there with Ruby. Ruby would be forced to spend all day in Henry's class, not being allowed to participate in recess or go to the cafeteria for lunch after threats to poison her. But even though others fought to keep Ruby out, she stayed strong. That was also witnessed by one of her escorts, Charles Burks, who said she never cried or whimpered. She just marched on like a little soldier. So as you can see there, although many were against a young black child receiving her education with the support of her parents and more, Ruby helped to change history and we thank her for her bravery. Well, I hope you enjoyed a... All right, everyone, that does it uh, for today. As I said, we'll learn more and more about Ruby Bridges throughout the week. And then we're going to get together as a whole student body and do a walk um, uh, one of the mornings this week. 
uh, just to uh, show support for the strength that Ruby Bridges showed, um, which, you know, not too long ago, which is, and I'm sure many of you who watch this video were shocked that um, that people behave that way and uh, did not want uh, people of color going to their schools. It's uh, sad and sickening. Um, but we'll learn more about uh, this Ruby Bridges as we go through the week. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day, and we'll see you soon.